episode 61 of youtube.com slash improv gaming. I am the host with the most, Mr. Jeremy Bird, the biggest Zelda fan in the world. With the Master Sword of his fans. God damn it. Biggest Zelda fan in the world coming at you once again. I'm joined by the two coolest guys in gaming. First to my right, he actually is the host with the most. I'm an idiot. Mr. Pete Anderson. What's that going on, guys? Happy E3 week. Hell yeah. Very exciting. We're pre recording this pre E3. So make sure you check back in all our coverage with all the press conferences, all that stuff. But we're still being E3. This is E3 work to have topics all about E3. Nice. Are you okay there? Yes. I think you had a mini seizure while you were saying <laughs> I that. think so too. <laughs> the door down to the desk though. Yeah, there you go. All okay. right. <laughs> and to my far right, he has the best ponytail in the business. It's fabulous. Mr. Nicholas Days. How's it going tonight, everybody? Thanks, Pete. You run my whole thing. I was actually going to be like, yeah, welcome to E3 week. Are you Hey, I don't have my wondering this week. Yeah, you'll probably have five of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering, what the fuck is Sony thinking? I'm wondering why Bethesda is going to be Game of Show again oh, this God, year. I'm, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. You're always done. <laughs> but then you come back hungry for more. I, I definitely don't want to put in my vote for Sony this year. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I, I, think I, already, I think I know who the... Who's going to shine? I really do think I know who's going to shine. Nintendo, excuse me. No. They don't care about this, because it already happened Yeah, to them. it already happened. <laughs> but for us, since we're going to do a pre-show, which you've already seen, but post before the pre-show... Stop going back to the future. You have no I concept think, of time. I think Ubisoft is going to surprise everybody. Not a chance. Uh, we'll see. I think Watch Dogs 2 and everything's going yeah, to surprise know, everybody. They get the jump from Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2. But we'll get into that in the future, <laughs> no. in the past, past future. In our future and your past. But gentlemen, I bring to you, I feel that CDs, music CDs are a dead technology. How do you like them apples? Do we think they're done or are we still going digital? Like for downloading music? It's actually an interesting concept. Yeah. Right? Because I personally believe that music CDs are just crap. Like, I, I don't get them anymore. I, I use them for my car, but even then, like, I use an SD card inside of my, mm. inside of my, um, <clears throat> inside of my stereo system in the car. So, um, but the interesting thing, the reason that I think it's an interesting topic is because you see a lot more people are leaning towards vinyls than they are music CDs. I so bring my record player everywhere. Clearly not what I meant, <laughs> but you you see purchases of vinyls going up because it's more of a retro thing and people are like really hipster about it. Yeah, yeah. So, in their car listening to the record players. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> so so you see a lot of these people that that used to buy CDs are starting to buy vinyl. Um, so th the reason I say that it's interesting is just because is the medium itself dead? I don't know. I think the disc based medium because vinyls being a disc because they're a disc shape. Uh -huh. Pete. <laughs> I think I think the disc based medium is not dead, but I think yeah, the digital disc based medium is is dead. I think um, now now it's all it's all downloads. Every everybody's downloading something to their iPhone or to their uh, Android or to their computer or wherever. I mean, we we all saw this. Well, at least you know the those of us that used to pirate in high school, but don't anymore yeah. allegedly pirate at all. <clears throat> It's funny because like a lot of <laughs> artists nowadays are actually putting out al um, album, uh, vinyl versions of their CD of their albums, new retro. But like I used to buy, uh, I used to buy full albums. Now I just buy like one or two songs. So I'm like, oh, it's a good song. I'm playing on my iPod when I'm working and stuff. But I'm just like, what happened to me? I used to buy like every CD from all my favorite bands. Now I'm just like. I gotta go. Wow. See, I still, I still haven't done that. I still haven't like resorted back to the or resorted to the. Oh, I'll get one song. If I get a, if I if a song interests me by by a by an artist, I'll get the whole CD that that yeah. song is on to see what that entire CD is about. I'm still, I'm still very much like that. Well, with me, I'm an old school guy. I still listen to tape cassettes in my. You're car. full of shit. You're so full of shit. <laughs> Well, my record player is broken right now, so record I have prayer. to record player. <laughs> so I have to use the this base. You would need a prayer to figure out how to use a vinyl. <laughs> you would. I know how to use one. So I do have CDs, and if it calls upon it, I will purchase a CD in store. But for the most part now, especially with my iPhone, um, the last three albums I've gotten, I've bought the whole album. I'm quite different. It's not just one song. I need at least two. So, for example, I just got um, Stone Sour, Come Wherever May, and I like Come Through Glass. Come Whatever You May. I got Through Glass and ZZ Road. So, I was like, these two garner me to get the 
a CD. Um, and there's rare occasions I got disturbed, but I like um, the, sil- the, the Silence of Man... Silence of... You know what I mean. This yeah. uh, Simon Garfunkel song that di- re- disturbed, redone. Uh, redid. Redone. Yeah. But um, I ended up getting the whole C- CD because I like Disturbed, you know? Hello Same thing. Darkness, my old yeah. friend. And then uh, Imagine Dragons because I just... I love that whole CD. You like to Imagine Dragons? Yes. All day long. <laughs> That's why I got a tattoo now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But on that note, if you well, didn't... Well, actually, no. if, before you get into that, if I may... If I may, because it seems like no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no. It seems like it's not Friday. I think it's a good, it's a good segue because it seems like as a group we've collectively switched from hard copies to digital copies when it comes to music. So why is it that as a group we have a hard time switching from hard copies to digital copies in video games? That's actually a very good call. Dude, is that an actual question? No, I'm just like it's like it's like kind of like a, a rhetorical question. Like, I will not answer <laughs> I will rhetorically not answer I will rhetorically just stand <laughs> was, here and smile. I was going to go full digital, but I found out I can get them off Amazon, and with Prime, I get them the same day they come out, so oh, okay. that's why. So, yeah, I just thought it was interesting, like, and we're, we're, I can imagine we were the types that were like, oh, yeah, CDs aren't going anywhere. Well, you could say that about movies, too. Yeah, you could, but I, I went digital with movies years ago. See, I don't. I went I'm digital. Still I bought Ted 2 recently in the store. I bought Deadpool. Yeah. The only thing I bought was, um, recently was... Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars Episode 7. I was like, yeah. Oh, I thought me. you got the Phantom Menace. No. You, oh, God. Well, I do have that one, too. So, funny, <laughs> funny story uh, on the sidebar. Um, you, you guys know I belong to a improv group. And, yeah, uh, improv so, gaming. <laughs> 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 What? Well, okay. <laughs> two, two improv groups. Um, and the other day we were doing, um, I had a show, and we were doing like, the name of the game is The Ladder, and we don't know what the special word is, and then we were told at the end. So at the yes. end of it was names, so you had to say names of things. So I was saying Jar Jar Banks, and they didn't capitalize it on it. The guy didn't give me a mark. So he goes, well, Pete has zero points. I go, what the fuck? I said Jar Jar Binks. Just because he's the worst Star Wars character in history doesn't mean it doesn't count. I digress. Okay. And you can Jay? You can and continue. if you didn't know, this is the greatest video games, games cast in all the Mushroom Kingdom, all of Albion. Fuck that card game. Um, and yeah, we might have to change this intro because there's yeah. a lot of disappointing things yeah. coming up whenever we talk yeah. about this intro. <laughs> and all the no incarnations more, no of the... Fable, no more Assassin's Creed at the moment. <laughs> yep. And the, in all the ar- incarnations of the shitty, not so shitty, patent pending Assassin's Creed series, not Syndicate. We're three friends. Am I ever going to live that down? <laughs> no. No, I said Syndicate. He said Syndicate. Rip, and you ripped he was on busting me. His own oh, I, I yeah. thought, oh, I thought it was about me. Usually you pick on me. <laughs> We're three friends who bring you our games cast every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on YouTube. We honor you with special with um, Let's Plays every Tuesdays and Thursdays, and from time to time we give you special live streams. Check out NBA 2K16 and also Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Nice. I'm actually interested for Mirror's Edge Catalyst. It got so all my... right reviews, so I can't wait to dive into it. I haven't played it yet. But Lukewarm? I haven't played it yet. But no, I'm saying go, like the reviews so yeah, far. Yeah, about 7s out of 10s. Okay. Which I talked to the guy. It ends up being that the free roaming is great, like the parkour. Yeah, well, good. but the combat, was always like that. Yeah, but the combat's like if you hit an enemy, he'll go whoa, and then fall off the off the like stage or the guardrail. So he'll go flying. It looks awesome when you do it, but it's like yeah, it's you like hit him every once, single one of them. Yeah, it, it once, and they're like whoa. <laughs> so I can't wait. To just a little, little too much ragdoll in those physics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like legit, even if I get it's a little bit, you just see, like like you like, bump like, into him. Whoa! <laughs> you're like fuck. Like the one guy like fell, and he's like. Halfway there, and I like just move an inch, and then you just see him go, whoa, and rolls around. <laughs> but check that out on last Thursday, on whatever Thursday it was. Yeah, but also, um, we bring you the biggest, we bring you the, yeah, we bring you the biggest news in gaming via the one-up news from Pete and I, not Nick so much. No. And also, we do what's coming out to a console near you every live every Sunday night on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming, as well as BlockTalkRadio.com slash Filling the Void RS. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yeah. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Time. We're also on uh, Patreon. You give us you give us a couple bucks. You get special you get content great from perks. us. Yep. And if that sounds good to you, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, and share all of our beautiful faces with all your beautiful friends. And now onto the topic at hand: the history of E3. History. Past, pre- and past of present, and future. E3. Past, present, and future. 
I, I lost it. You know what's <laughs> funny? You know what's funny? Um, in a recent video, the Resident Evil 7, and what we want from it, definitely check that out. <coughs> um, oh, it Thank said you. at 1020, you know, we started talking about it because we have our beginning and everything. Yeah. For the fans who enjoy the beginning and then the content, yeah, yeah. obviously. I just look at the thing we're and we're at about 1020. We're about 1020 when the <laughs> fucking topic begins. Yeah. But now somebody's going to be like, actually, 11, <laughs> at 11 they began. So kudos to whoever calls it out on the comments. Um, so E3, past, present, and future. Um, and it started in 1995. Yes, it did. It is 21 years old. It will be 21 years old. It, can, it, can it is 21 years old. <laughs> it, it, oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> it is 21 years old. Right. It is 21 years old. It can legally <laughs> drink now. Yay! Pete, Yay. Pete was right. <laughs> Shut up, Pete. It will be for us. It is for you. Look at that. We're on two sides. We're on the 20-year-old E3 side, and they're on the 21-year-old E3 side. Fascinating. <laughs> Please shit. tell that story again. <laughs> We're on the 20-year-old oh, E3. <laughs> now this is just a painful conversation. So history of E3, or Electronic Entertainment Expo, which yes. is obviously what E3 stands for. Yes, which is what I've always been saying to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. It could have came out with Electronic Elephants Expo. Yeah, I'm sure that's not what E3 is about, or else there'd be a lot more elephants and a lot less consoles <laughs> and video game publishers. You just see the <laughs> elephants walking around. There'd be a lot more robots, definitely, if it was like... Horizon Zero Dawn just takes care of everything. <laughs> that game looks amazing. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> so it started when Sony joined the race. The console race, I should say. Um, when Sony put out its first PlayStation, that's pretty much when E3 started. Uh, they were joined... At the conference by none other than our dearly departed Sega, representing the Sega Saturn. <laughs> it's not fair. They brought the Sega Saturn. Nintendo fanboys crying about Sega. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and PlayStation. Um, so, interesting beginnings for E3. It yes, wasn't, sorry. It's not something that, that grew up with gaming. It was more... It grew up it with modern gaming. It, it adopted wow. into the gaming world. <laughs> it adopted the gaming. <laughs> they were born into, into it. it. <laughs> Molded by it. So It didn't know a press conference until it was only a man. Sorry. Uh, I digress. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. So 50,000 50, 50, attendees at the yep. first E3, right? 1995, 50,000 attendees. Big thing. Big. Nothing Kaboom. has ever happened like this before. Big no. industry thing. Because mm -hmm. the, those 50,000 weren't the public. They weren't people uh, from the press. It was all internal mm -hmm. public, like like uh, all, all creators, all, all developers, yep. and all industry uh, professionals that were there. Um... Then we fast forward a little bit <laughs> to 2007. Oh, that's a big fast forward. Yeah, it's yeah, a huge years. fast forward. 11 right? years. 12 years where ESA, the people that provide E3, decided they were going to reformat the entire show. <gasps> Tell oh. me more. Well, they noticed how big E3 had gotten, how, how much... The news that came out of E3 was starting to really affect public opinion of video games and how much gamers were really starting to, to, to find it as, as, a, as a canary to what the coal mine was. The coal mine being the future of gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> so they decided to reformat the show. You sure that was a good analogy? Yes. It was perfect. Yes. Canary in a coal mine. Yes. I'm in every word of yes. it. If the canary is alive, you go in the coal mine. If it's dead, you don't go in the coal mine. Oh, that's what, what, what happens, happens, what happens, happens basically. if there was an ostrich in the coal mine? Is it, same thing? I don't know. Shut up. It's a bird, so maybe. But I don't know if it'll react the same. What about a... I don't know if sticking your head in the ground is the same thing as a canary <laughs> tweeting. I'm not sure. That's like, but, that's like him sticking his head in the ground to look What about a peacock oh. to show its beautiful feathers? I, You're not okay, trying to sure. fuck everyone. Sure, Come not? on. Why not? Yeah, you are. If you're gonna fuck them into the coal mine and it crashes on them. <laughs> what about the blue jay? Okay, whatever. Just shut shut off. Oh my god. <laughs> Why not a mockingbird? That sounds. That's like too a much. That's too much. <laughs> That's too much. A mockingbird. <laughs> that sounds like a canary. It's mocking That's me way all too the much. time. <laughs> okay, so it's a bird in a fucking coal mine anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So a parrot on a coal mine. We got it. <laughs> shut up. So so. Uh, a lot of people wanted to exhibit their stuff there, and they decided to reformat it so that then it was more of gamer-friendly, like more of the mm -hmm. audience-friendly kind of a format. 
Uh, failed miserably. Term- right? Terribly. Fa- failed miserably. They turned it. They called it the E3 Media and Business Summit. Now that lasted about a year. Yeah, exactly <laughs> a year. That lasted well. It was two shows, right? 2007 and 2008. Yep. And then they learned. Mm-hmm. And then they learned. And then 2009, we got back to the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Until present. Day. Until to the present day. So from 2009 until the present day, we got back to the 2000 or to 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 the original format. And it isn't until last year that they were actually able to not just match but exceed the original numbers of the E3. So it took a decade, over a decade. Mm-hmm. You know, well, actually a decade. You know what it is? Because Bethesda had their first show ever. That's why they did so big. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, I guess back so. Me up. I believe Nintendo was the runner-up. <laughs> I believe Nintendo was the runner-up. But yeah, they had they had um, the original was fifty thousand. The the and then the attendance last year was fifty four. Fifty two. I want to say. I 0. think 5? it was 52, around that number. Fifty four. I thought it was. It was uh, fifty two. Yeah, you're right. Fifty two point two. <sighs> Twice in one show. Wow, wow. you're fucking getting lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, they, they had 52.2 people mm-hmm. in attendance at last year's 52.2 people? That's not 52.2 thousand <laughs> people <laughs> at last year's uh at last year's How do you E3. Point two? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> point 0.2 thousand. Yeah. Sorry. Point I know, two. but just 52.2. <laughs> I'm like, really? What's a point two of a person? Um, a penis? <laughs> <laughs> We're playing a penis? 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 <laughs> So, so that's that's a quick breakdown of E3 mm-hmm. and what they've had to uh, to bring to the table and and it's always been it seems like it's always been at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Only yep. once did they go to Vegas. Yeah. And I, I'm trying to remember, but it was basically a terrible fucking idea. Yeah. Yeah. A terrible idea, and they learned from it. I want to say it was when, um, when the business side took over, but. I'm not positive off. No, I'm not entirely sure. But I know they went to Vegas. It was absolutely terrible. I can't think of the year. I apologize. But they went back to the LA Convention Center, and that's where it's been, and that's where it just thrives, and it's the perfect, yep. perfect thing. Because LA Convention... Isn't that where they hold Comic-Con? I think that's why. I think yes. that's where they yeah, hold Yeah, because that's one perfect location. So. so it's the same spot. Like, everybody just goes to the same spot for their for their nerd to, to show. Yep. Yeah, of course. So now let's tiptoe into the present. Tiptoe into the present. E3 present time. E3, well, their present or our present. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, of course, E3 this year, EA backed out. Um, well, not necessarily. Well, backed out of the convention center of being They're E3. across the street. They're, They're across, across the, the street. street, you know. Activision, not a big part of it. Disney is not a big part of it anymore. But what's cool is um, what E3 did was do this pass... Two day pass, I believe, where it sold out within yeah. the first hour, two hours, where open to the public, anybody can go free tickets to have check out some games, you know. From the thing though is with this, it's um, right next to E three. Yep. But Sony's not there, Microsoft's not there. The biggest, uh, biggest developer publisher, if what you would call, it's Ubisoft. Ubisoft and uh, um, uh, WB Montreal. Uh, no, yeah, WB is going to be there. Those are two big ones, but it's showing, hey, come check out our games, play it. They want to do something similar to an EA where it's like, hey, we're going to have a press conference and then anybody can come in and play our games. You want to play Titanfall 2? You play Titanfall 2. You want to no play FIFA? Play Titanfall 2. FIFA 17? You, oi, you come over to the good old England and play FIFA 17. You know, Madden. That was a terrible accident. You know, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't commit to it until right at the end. <laughs> yeah, um, that was absolutely terrible. I'm sorry. But, so EA, uh, E3 is trying to, you know, say, oh, come, we're doing all these things because What's happening now with all these press conferences being Gamescom, Paris Games Week, um, Sony with their PSX, you know, E3 is not as big as it once was because everybody knew that E3... It never was as big as it once was. Yeah. Yeah, but... It never reached the potential that it initially had until a year ago. Yeah, So it was never as big as everybody makes it out to be. It's also something where, in the beginning, it was when Sony first came in. There were reasons why, oh, this first big thing is coming. Not like it drastic, it didn't go drastically down in numbers, you know? It was just E3 was trying to fix and see what they can do, what they can't do. And they're starting to get into this um, 
this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ritual where it's like, okay, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. And it shows that, you know, in the present day, E3 is trying to do all these things because of all these other press conferences going down. When earlier everybody went, oh, it's E3 where everybody knows big announcements, consoles are going to be revealed. That was the thing. E3 was the juggernaut to beat, you know, but now with these Gamescom, which is coming more than I feel is E3 is becoming a bigger event, you know. Well, it seems more relevant, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like it's called Gamescom. Yeah. It's not E3, which is yeah. an arbitrary, you know, phrase that, that, that came from what it was meant for, right? Electronics Entertainment Exposition. Uh, it's just a showcase. Mm-hmm. Um, but Gamescom is like, hey, get, Here's your, our get your nerd out. Yep. Get your nerd out on Link games. Get that nerd like, out. We're not, we're not looking at like, oh, what the new technology is that could be applied to gaming. We're like, hey, this is what the fuck we're doing in gaming. Like, this is legitimately what we're doing in, in gaming, not technology that could be applied to gaming. So Gamescom just seems more like, hey, th- you know, this is this is where it's gonna be. Um, <clears throat> I think I think the whole idea of conferences is going by the wayside. I think all of them are gonna start deteriorating. I don't, I don't think see it, that. I yeah, see. It could no, happen. I think, I think they're all. I starting see to deteriorate. Microsoft getting their own thing. No. You know, no, Microsoft's no not stupid. I don't know. Microsoft Microsoft have a monopoly on computers. They're not stupid. Well, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. That presentation last year. I don't know. But Microsoft is not stupid enough to say, hey, let's do our own conference. No. No. I don't don't, know, don't they do one like PlayStation? No, Microsoft does it. Only Sony, really. And yeah, then Nintendo oh, I'm sorry, Direct, I'm sorry. if you really count those. Yeah. Then there's Paris Games Week. Yeah, Paris Games Week. Um, uh, Gamescom. There's PSX. There's That's Tokyo, what PSX. Uh, Tokyo uh, Games Show. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, there's a whole lot. I mean, there's just way too many. But, so, I, but I see all of them collapsing completely. Do you see... E- E three going being the first one to go, yes. Because this is going because there's, there's the too much. Of E3. Yeah, there's too Past much weight. There's too much weight on the E three conference, right? Everybody looks like like we say over here. You know, this is Christmas time for gamers. Of course, yep. you know, and and Christmas come early. Yeah, it's Christmas come early for gamers. It's you know mid Christmas time yeah. for gamers. Christmas and, and Ju- Christmas and June. And June. I was going to say July, but I'm like, wait, wrong one. No, that's but, Evo. But it, 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 because of that weight and what people are expecting to see at E3 versus all the other ones, that's the first one that's going to collapse. Is because there's going to come a time where the stuff that they show you is going to be like, yeah, yeah, I, I figured that's where it was going. Well, now with everything breaking so early, also, you know, especially before E3 started this week, you know, there was... The, yeah, that's the other part. Is like everything, everything's getting ruined before E3 yeah. even comes out. So. There was rumors on Bethesda's press conference, you know, which that's because everybody's there already talking yeah. to everybody, and they're they're hearing what what these two people yeah. are talking oh, about. Oh, what this is what they said. Yeah. So the surprise from E3 is just slowly going away because I remember in years past it was you didn't know what was happening, and E3 happened, and that's, you're like blown away. That's but now the, that's the advent of the internet. Yep. But now Persona 5 getting a release date, which would have been big for Sony, you know, their collector's edition, which has sold out on Amazon as yeah, recording Yeah, but they're letting this. this shit slip. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also it's the to same bring people hype. breaking the news. Yeah, it's also to like, generate hype. But it's it's the same problem that 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 we have with um what was what was, what was last that year? I was I was thinking about. Uh I don't know. Fuck, there was a movie that I was thinking about that I was Oh, Suicide Squad. Not not Suicide Squad. Batman vs. Superman. Okay. Where it was just way too much revealed in the trailers. Yeah. Like, by the time I saw the movie, I was like, yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. You already showed me that. You already showed me that. You already showed me that. And there's just something new. Oh, look, it's Flash. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it's Flash. <laughs> oh, it's Aquaman. Look at that. It's no, Cyborg. no, I already knew Jason Momo was going to be Aquaman. Uh, as long as he <laughs> came through the fucking... No, no, yeah. And first. then, you know, yeah, fucking should have came through the fucking puddle. All right? <laughs> But, you know, it was all like, yep. okay, I saw that, 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 that's interesting, I saw that, I saw that, Omega Symbol, awesome, Paratrooper, awesome, saw that, saw this, saw that. So there was very little surprise to Batman versus Superman versus what we already saw before the movie yeah. came out. So the same problem is going to happen with E3. Way too much coming out, way too much I know about going into E3. See, but last year worked out well, because if you remember last year, Bethesda announced their first press conference. Everybody's like, oh, they're going to be showing Fallout 4. And a week before, they broke, hey, Fallout 4 will be at E3. Didn't give them very much information. Not, no, not, not, they just they said, said Fallout 4 is going to be there. 
It's like Watch Dogs for Ubisoft. They have announced Watch Dogs 2 will be at E3. That's all we know. You know, we, don't, we haven't seen anything about... Yeah, but, I mean, given what we know about Watch Dogs, like, unless they have to really fucking wow us on Watch Dogs 2 at E3 in order for us to really have... Yeah, but the same thing, and I understand Fallout has a fan base. Don't get me wrong, guys, I understand that. But from the week from Fallout 3, which was beloved by many people, you know... Then to come to Fallout 4 and have all this pressure being like, how's it going to look? What's it going to be about? All this stuff, you know? At least with Watch, Watch Dogs 2, and I bring this example again, we'll get Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2. Yes. Completely. But that's not the same company that Ubisoft is now. Nope. Yeah, but, you know, it's something where they they put out a pro, uh, they put out a new IP, they tested the water, same with Assassin's Creed, and then they're like, okay, this is what we can work, and then boom. Yeah. I, I, I don't think is I mean, it, but I enjoyed Assassin's Creed the first one yeah I so, thought it was yeah. a good game but did you enjoy two more oh yeah by yeah. far but yeah. I'm saying like I didn't enjoy Watch Dogs not at all like I, I like once I was done with the first half an hour I was like okay this is getting really fucking old really fucking quick but what about um the news that dropped today what news Injustice 2 <sighs> I forget which company, but they announced Injustice God Among- Gods Among Us 2. Well, yeah. it's been leaked. Which I'm so happy. As of reporting so this happy. now. And Ed Boon kind of did a little teaser thing, which was cool. For me, I would have rather them hold off and then be like, yeah, we got something special for you at E3, and then boom, you see yeah, that and Superman duking it out again. That's, that that would have been fucking dope, dude. Like, like after after but, Superman vs. Batman, or after Batman vs. Superman, vice versa, fucking whatever. E3 comes out, and it's fucking Batman vs. Superman. Gods Among Us. You know what the fuck is coming out once you see Batman go up against Superman. And then boom. Yeah, but... Now here's the real fight. Yep. <laughs> that, that's what the fuck was. I would not be surprised if they don't put it that way. But we'll get it this way. Yes, was would it be awesome to have it at E3? Yes. But still, you have to understand, we still don't know a lot of things. Look at last year. Nobody knew about the Final Fantasy remake that they were planning, Final yeah. Fantasy VII. They didn't know about all these different games coming out. We didn't know about... Dishonored 2, you know? It's all these different things, and then they're like, boom, here you go. Yeah, we might have known about Fallout 4. We might have known that, you know, there's a do- new Doom gotcha. coming out. You You're know? saying that they might still have aces up there. Yeah, space. of course. Well, yeah, because, like, I know we, like, shit on Nintendo a lot, but with their Direct last year, we got announcements for Star Fox, Paper Mario, we got announcements for um, Animal Crossing, all these other games, yep. we had no clue they were coming out, which... Couple of but Nintendo's good about hiding yeah. their shit. Like, yeah. they, they've never... I'm talking about the other guys. Oh, okay, okay. Like, like Nintendo's always been good about, like, we're not going to let you know anything we don't want you to know. Yep. And that's pretty well, much how they I bring operate. up ReCore from Microsoft. ReCore was a fucking surprise. Nobody knew. A yeah. Matterfall. Matterfall. Yeah. Nobody knew, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know there's going to be these big things, but it's... What, for honor. They, ex- one of my favorite games. I remember for, watching, for, you never watched yeah. it, and we're like... Yeah. I but look at it. Look at it this way. This is how I, I feel you. that E3 is now going. P- E3 is so big, but people want to get hype. So what happens? Leaks and stuff get get released, and people go, "Oh my God! Wait, Injustice Two is that a big thing?" And it makes them want to watch more. Okay. That's why I feel that the viewership is getting so much more, and the attendance is getting so much higher because. Everybody's like, okay, if this is true, I need to see what this is about. Oh my god, they're announcing a new Injustice 2? Oh, how's it going to build on the old one? Is it going to use the engine from Mortal Kombat 10? Oh, is it going to have x-rays incorporate? All these different things. No, it's not going to have x-rays. Yes, I, I'm just saying. It's not going to have x-rays. Okay. But it's not. Okay. And there won't be blood. Just to fucking because superheroes don't yeah there was just, there was just, so, just so that the new guys wouldn't, like, wouldn't it be like, great if first in the beginning Batman goes do you bleed <laughs> there was there was I would be injustice. fucking surprised there was blood I would injustice. be fucking surprised and I would be so hyped if the first thing that he said was do you bleed and then they showed fucking blood in Injustice Gods Among Us I would not be surprised there is blood do you wanna you wanna make a bet I think yeah. there will be blood in the new Injustice okay I will I will no. bet you that <laughs> gentlemen you'll know before us so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seeing this, you go like we already know though. <laughs> but we don't. we don't we don't we're coming from po- pe- pre E three to post. But I, I feel that will be hey I don't think it's going to be crazy like Mortal Kombat crazy but I still think you're going to see like at the end of a fight Batman's going to have you know some no, no. be bloody. blood is blood not fucking like bloody face no 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 not bruised you're face. talking about I'm talking blood. about fucking right, like I, I like if Superman by. punches Batman he better fucking cough up blood <laughs> and that's why he wears armor. But, um, so th- we basically mixed present and future into yeah. this. Yeah. But 
I just feel, in closing, for my thought, like these leaks are happening to get excitement for the weeks to come. Same thing happened. You well, know, I'm, not, I'm not arguing that. Yeah, That's I know. Not I'm just I'm saying. I'm arguing whether or not it's going to work. I think so. Because look at last year. It was, you even read on the, it was the biggest thing since the, begin, the beginning of E3. I was wrong. You were wrong? I was wrong. 1997. Seven, 70,000 people attended. Okay. <laughs> since 1997. It's wrong. You don't hear that very often. But it, it was getting up to that original first yeah, show. Yeah, that original first. Yeah. So to have these being like, hey, Fallout's going to be a thing. You know, because rumors can happen all the time. We can rumor the new God of War 4 is going to be announced from Santa I'm Monica. Hoping, yeah, hoping, we can hoping. say that. We could say... Don't, don't say that too loudly, though. Then all of a sudden there'll be a rumor out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then but, we'll be blamed for the rumor that we clearly just invented. You remember you know? what happened last time? <laughs> what, what's, what's Sucker Punch working on? Oh, Oh, I can't wait to see. And then if even if they did a week this week, obviously Sucker Punch is not working on anything. You're not going to see Sucker Punch. I, I game think for I think year, you might but. be right about the the short term, but long term, I don't think that they can keep it up. No, I I just think it's a way to stay relevant in this world of a Gamescom, yeah, no. PSX, Paris Games Week, and They're all that. Die. We'll see. They're gonna die. And the future of E3, I think it will. I think it will still be there, but not to the. No, it's going to collapse. Not to the effect that it it's is It's going to collapse. They have media outlets like us. Why spend fucking thousands of dollars on a, on a conference when you have media outlets like us to, sh- to break yeah. the news? Hey, here, check it. Yeah. Be the first to... In Pro here's, Gaming, first on, yeah, here's, you know, here's Uncharted here's five, 5. Here's 500 bucks to showcase our new technology. Thank you. Can we get them to make that each person? <laughs> you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah, like, like, absolutely. absolutely. You, you, don't need, you don't need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to do a show with the big screen television and six booths. On the on the on the fucking conference floor and you know like it, it costs a lot of money to go yeah, to those of course. shows yeah that's why I could see it being just Microsoft doing con- and I know you don't believe no Microsoft's not going to do their own conference. yeah but it would in the idea you're just going to keep shaking your head may They're I not. say this point no sir, you may, I wrote, no sir. it's entirely a wrong point <laughs> I see Microsoft's not doing in their own five conference. years I could see this no just hear me no <laughs> in five years I can see this I could see. PlayStation having PSX. I can see Microsoft having Xbox Experience. You're wrong. Quote unquote. I can see Nintendo <laughs> having something, and I can see Nintendo Gamescom. already has something. And I can see Gamescom. Nintendo already has something. I can see. And they do it else. seventy-five times a year. <laughs> and I more like five, yes. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. There wasn't 30 fucking Smash Brother conferences that they had. There this was year. two. <laughs> just because, just because you're mad that you were wrong three times in this episode, <laughs> does not give you the right. No, Microsoft's not going to go into it. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a dying fad, so they're not. I want to know. No, no. Let's have the it's people like, to survive. It's like fucking buying into a fucking old timey computer. Microsoft's not going to reinvent a, a tube. Let computer. us know in the comments. What <laughs> Let you us think. know. Do you think Microsoft would actually make their own little press conference like PSX? I don't think. Let us know but... in the comments. You know, fuck you both. <laughs> if you agree with no. me, let me know. If you well, agree also, with these, let us, let us no. know what your thoughts are on E3. Should it keep going? Excuse me, is it going to die out? What do you guys what, think? Past, present, and future. What are your thoughts? Yep. But what do we got coming up for Friday? It's what do we think is right and wrong with E3. What is right and wrong with E3? Which we kind of touched on today, but we'll touch on... Oh, we're just going to go death. all nuts on Friday. Yeah, actually, it's probably going to be a full-on warfare between Pete and I. I'm going to sit in the middle. Potentially. Why am I always picked? Because you you like E3. I'm like, no, it's dying. There's no point. I get all the information before E3 anyway. But we'll see you guys on Friday then. And as usual, game, game on. on. <laughs> Hi. Go fuck yourselves. Are we live? We're live right now? I don't yeah. believe you. I don't believe you. We're on. I don't believe you. We're not live, but we're on. I don't believe you. You don't have to believe